if you are not self aware you are bound to fail if you fail you are lacking intelligence you are bound to fail know your weaknesses and strengths and work on it there are many more ways and options apart from your talent for getting success yes. people give success because of their attitude the behavior with their dedication because of their sacrifices that is all apart from talent today it's my privilege i'm connecting with one of the gentleman he is from nigeria and uh, it's also my privilege that i have been work in nigeria since three four years and i am very familiar with each and every small and big cities in nigeria so i know how people from nigeria they are very ground to earth dedicated very lovely respectful so i really admire from the people of nigeria so it is my privilege today i am going to connect with one of the gentlemen and this person has really impressed me during his journey he is always around whenever i call him whenever i ask him whenever i have given the task he is always there to say yes i am doing it or i will do it so this behavior this is an attitude makes people success apart from talent his name is maxwell odira he is having more than 15 plus years of working experience he is by profession it professional and he is well dedicated passionate guy for his work his goal oriented and what all i can say is still not sufficient i will invite this person and i will ask him to give us his introduction by himself so let's welcome Maxwell Odira from Nigeria. Maxwell, you are welcome, and thank you so much for giving your precious time. And before anything else, congratulations to you for achieving a great success PMP credential with all three domains above target. Mr. Sam, you you a great man to start with. All the achievement wouldn't have been possible if not for your resistance, pulling and pushing. That's how. That's why I describe it. You push as if you are very close to me, while you are in a very far away country. You keep asking me, "What are you doing at this moment?" Uh, man, uh, I have never seen the success. My success is I dedicate that to you. <laughs> I give you that success my, is no matter my, how hard I work yeah you inspire me even when I don't have hope of getting these things done you tell me keep going there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel I started my journey on PMP after I dropped my letter of resignation because as for me my dreams goes I know what I'm seeing. I walk every day and look as if I'm not happy with what I'm doing. So a lot of uh, family and all that will get up early in the morning, jump into the traffic, speed up to to Lekki and come back. I really see my families. I don't see them. I always have my time with my kids weekends, and that weekend is not be sufficient enough. I have to work to deliver on weekends. So at a point, let me do a retrospective. Achieved and what I have not achieved so far, I discovered that my PMP is outstanding. So I started the journey, but unfortunately, the COVID came in in between and disrupted the event. So I went for a class. I paid for a class. So I was supposed to start on 28th, I left 28th March. Then there was this lockdown. Everything collapsed. So at that point, they now propose. To me, to take a virtual class, and I, I just ask myself, PMP virtual class will not be the same as fiscal class. You can ask all your nonsense question in fiscal class, no matter how stupid it is, you still ask your question and get response to it. But there are limited question you could have asked. 
on a virtual environment. So I have to pay for other classes, which is very restricted to COVID uh, restrictions. We just have about six candidates in the class. So after then I took it and I, I thought that after the class, I'm going to get a handsome support after the class. I wasn't getting it. Though I went through my exams, I did some hard work, research and all that, even registering for my exams. I did all those research online and all what I know. I did my registration, everything coming me successfully. But here in Nigeria, I couldn't have paid for it. I have to call one of my cousin in UX to help me make the payment. After the payment, then I, I made the exchange. I did the exchange transfer to him. Then I entered for my exam with hope that I'm going to bank that exam. I read like never been done before in my life. My feet were swelling, sleepless nights. I bought online broadcasts I used. That's about uh, 1,600 questions. Then I used that. I was confident that this exam, I'm going to make it. Do you understand me? I got into the exam. I think I have, um, my, the problem I discovered is monitoring and execution. The rest was good. Do you understand me? So I met a lady in the exam venue that actually introduced me. She said, ah, boy, you can still make it before the timetable is changed. Before I cut up a new timetable, I said, okay, fine. I just have one month. He said, yes, let me introduce to someone. Yes, after the introduction, I began with the master plan you gave me. So, but then it's not just about the plan. It's about discovering your weak points at that moment. And I believe for PMP, it's not just a walkover. When I, when, when I passed this exam, I discovered that you have to be PMP yourself. You have to eat it. You have to speak it. You have to cough it. Yeah. So I went I through that process. And I came, yeah, I came out again and I failed. I failed. And I was wondering, what is happening? It's not as if I don't know these things. What is happening? I then discovered that it's not just about knowing it is the ability to understand the way and the structure these things are being placed. These guys are professionals. When I talk about the guys that said these questions, don't be so surprised. Most of the questions you solve, you solve, maybe you walk through your exam, you solve it. You still see the exam, you still will not know it. If you're not grounded, if you're not grounded, if you're not simply, if you don't create that simplicity to answering questions, you will not pass the exams. When you understand PMP very well, you pass the exam by look, even looking at the questions, options. You know what these guys are telling you, what they, what they need from you, what they want from you. Do you understand me? So I worked the, I failed the second round. I, I, I said, okay, I, I, I said, to go be the glory, I was scared. I almost give up. My wife told me, these people, they don't know what they are doing. Because my wife has seen my effort. She said, look, they don't know. They don't want you to pass. They know what they are doing. This is a scam and all that. I looked as hard and I laughed. I said, so there this is, is never a scam. There is a woman behind every success. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> your, <laughs> wife, your wife was standing behind you. And I can say, you yes. shallow to your wife. Exactly. So I started the journey again. I said, oh, what can I do? I was tired and I was paralyzed. I don't even know what to do again. Mid-January, vividly, I can remember very well, January 10th, 11th, I saw you sending me another plan. <sighs> I just asked myself, I can't fear this man. For this man to have worked this hard to present me this plan means that he has something for me. Why? I picked up the courage again. I started moving. I keep asking myself, how do you, how do you pay? There was no money. I have a little money left with me, but that money was meant for a project. So I started the journey. 
without knowing where I could source for fund to pay for the exams. So I try as much as I can to work within the plan you gave me, but along the line, everything failed. Mm -hmm. so, so the project I actually planned for came up. That's my personal project. I supervised it on my own. I did all the planning on my own. I funded it. I'm the sponsor. I, I funded it. So the little fund, fund I have with me was meant for the project. So I started the project and along the ride, and I discovered that the fund I have could not even take me to the midpoint of the project. My God and my ah, I started thinking, what can I do? I started soliciting for help from friends. They were actually helping me and others. Yeah, the project was growing, but it was a very slow pace. And that period of time, I can't hand it over to anybody. I have to combine that with my PNP reading. So at night like this, when I come back, I have to sit and read, make sure that those plans I have, I've covered it and I justify it so that by the day, I can actually go and supervise the project, plans for the project and all that. So it's continued all these ways. And um, also, um, the plans you gave me at that point in time, I don't want to fail again. I don't want the effort to look as if, oh, this man is trying and you are not doing anything. Do you understand me? So I keep struggling with it. If you remember one time I told you that, ah, a lot of discussion, you told me that, please keep moving on. So I keep going. And um, my junior sister just called me one day and asked me, Maxwell, what is plan for the exam? I said, ah, I don't know, but I know I'm just reading. But uh, she, she, knows, she said, I know you have financial commitments here and there, school fees to pay for children and all that and all that. And I said, okay, that I'm reading. I'm just hoping that God will do something, somehow the money will come in. But before then, I've actually asked you, what happened if somebody did not take the exam at the last of the approved date? which is the 365 days, you told me really well that, man, you have to start afresh again. And your application might be subject to screening. You understand me? So ah, I said, no, I don't want to go through this process. It's not for me. It's not for me, please. I just need to do something about it. So before then, as God will have it, my sister just told me that I'm going to pay for your exam, plan for the exam, prepare for the exam, register for the oh. exam. I'm going to drop the money. So, Do you understand me? There is not a single woman behind your success. There are two women. <laughs> there are my success behind your success. Your wife and your sister. Salute for both. And my mother. <laughs> your mother. Wow. <laughs> my so my, my mother was. Yeah. Wow. I, I, and I, I looked so at lucky. her. You are so I, lucky. You're so lucky. Yeah. All your family supported you to achieve this great success. You are really lucky, guys. All family supporting you. Yeah, at, at that point, I'm not even interested in looking for any job. My focus is my PMP certification. I wasn't interested for any job. I wasn't interested in looking for any job. I just want... Uh, and I, I actually went for an interview. Somebody asked me, how am I funding? How am I going to fund for my PMP? I said, never mind. The Lord is my strength. When the time comes, he will take care of it. And as God will have it, everything turned out fine. And uh, I believe my mother was like, I think my sister had discussed with my mother. She, she told me that anything that will make my mother happy is to see me pass the PMP. Great. She, Great. Yeah, the first it is a really, a really uh, great a journey you have, the Maxwell, so far. All the family wholeheartedly accepted your goal and they supported until you achieve your goal of PNP. Yeah. Really salute to each and every member who supported you from your family. Before moving forward, I just wanted to know if I can ask to share three learnings three learnings which you got from your first failure. So what would be your three learnings from your first failure? Yes. 
Um, now is um, I will not say about consistency. It's about everything in life has rules and uh, processes that works around it. You might work very hard and you don't keep to the rules and the processes. That would be a setback. Do you understand? And if you don't understand the game very well, don't go by trying by error. They talk and take you through the sources. You need somebody who will, my head are falling off my neck. You told me, you will get used to it, continue. Continue, because I thought we were almost wrapping everything at that point. You said, Maxwell, you need to continue and you will get used to it. And let me tell you the truth, I got used to it. That head I want to fall off on the neck, I got to it to the point of my exam. All right. So if I want to share my, the, the other good side of things, I can always tell you that, man, you are the, you are the master. Without so, you, these things would I can summarize your three learnings from your first period was, first, you said about the strategy and tips, apart from what you are reading, that reading is not enough to pass any exam. Understand yeah, exactly. the game, what you said, the second point yes. is you have to understand PMP exam. PMP yes. exam is not uh, not only about the reading. There is lots of yes. dedication, sacrifice, tips, strategy. Th third point you have indicated consistency. I remember you have on and off preparation. I also remember we had long conversation about 45 minutes somewhere. And uh, after that, I sent you the revised plan. And from that moment, I never been failed that you need any follow up. You were following it very seriously. And of course, we were connecting time to time. Yes. Three learnings, what you said, a strategy, consistency, and understanding the game of the PMP. Like, do not yes. walk hard blindly. Do not read something blindly without knowing yes. strategy, tips, and tricks. Yes. Okay, so if I will ask, what one mantra you want to give to the future aspirants? Yes, for Your the aspirants. aspirants. Yeah, for the aspirants. Um, it's not bad about what you know. It's about who is taking you through what you know. That is one. You understand me? Plans is very, very key. Plans is very, very key. And it is plans that drive success. Plan Once you share your success. template. Yeah, plan drive success. success. Yeah. And this okay. is... I was expecting it from you. If you have a good plan, 99% probability you yeah. will succeed what you are doing. Exactly. Plans give you a strategy. Plans give you yes. the framework that's very essential in PMP journey. That is what one yes. mantra from Maxwell. Here, yes. Maxwell indicating that you should have someone who can hand hold you until you yeah, pass exactly. the exam. You should yes. have someone who can uplift you, not only teach you, but also motivate you. BMC is yes. not doing by pure a student. It is doing by working professional who is having personal life, having professional life, having family, relatives, social activities. Apart from this all, you have to have time for your PMP preparation and that's really challenging. You have to have enough time so that you can 
spare for your PMP preparation. And that moment will fail miserably to manage the time. And that is where a mentor, a someone, a uh, expert who can uplift you, handhold you, can save you, keep going, I am with you. Keep moving, I am around you. And that's really yes. important. Yes. In the beginning, I said there are many things required apart from your talent to gain a success. And that is what we are discussing now here. No matter how much you are reading, how many questions you are solving, but if you do not have the right direction, you may miserably fail the exam. Yes. Yes. So let's discuss about your strategy. How did you do the preparation of your second attempt PMP exam? What was your uh, major challenges? in preparing the PMP uh, exam? Do I really say it? I have, uh, yes, I have many challenges. You know, in Nigeria here, we have so many hustling, bustling here and there. You don't take time. You find out that time will, you, you will be choked off time. Most of the time, people want to plan to study. You might come back home, you might, there's no light. I've studied my, 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 light, my light pattern here because I, for one, I don't like gen. I don't like Jen, just to be frank. So during those hours, I walk towards those hours of, I know that, oh, there's going to be light. So I project myself towards them. These are one of my challenges I have. And financial constraint is one of the major things. But uh, luckily for me, I overcome all those things. And um, basically, you know, family, when you have family around you, is is a very big thing to to try to manage and combine that with the effort of trying to get one or two certification and all that. But all, all glory be to God. I'm not going to take it to my, it's not my glory. God has given me the strength to be persistent and focus. That is the most important thing. Uh, I, never, I, never, I never allowed all those uh, constraints got me distracted along the way. I keep pushing and I'm pulling and I'm happy you 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 did the the work for me as well. Uh, when I feel I want to fall back and relax, you tell me, look, guy, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Just like a journey that um, you have someone who understands where you are going to, who knows the road to where you are going to. It's just like let me take this way: the three wise men and the and the and the moon. The moon was leading them. The three wise men was going behind. So until they get to the to where Jesus was giving back to. So at least they have achieved the major point at that point. You are the moon that I've seen, the light I've seen that took me to where I am, despite all the challenges I've faced. I have been in Abuja, Lagos, Port Hartford, Enugu, everywhere I have been there. I have lived with the local people. So I know the culture, I know the local issues, government issues, and there are many challenges there. But still, you guys are surviving, trying your best to complete work, to, uh, to achieve your desires, to your goals. So that's really up the share. All right. Moving forward, uh, I would also like to know uh, your time management during your PMP exam. How do you manage your time during your PMP exam? Oh, um, it, it, this is very key. And this is one of the things I stated in my, my last in length. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, at the point, I was just working, 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 working. And I asked myself, time management is very, very important. These things have time. So from the mock you sent to me, I was actually reading before to understand it is for how long it took me to answer. And let's not take this thing away. Your mock session is a very key, important factor for personal assessment. But I wonder why people are not so much keen about that. I saw that, it's, it's, I saw that from the attitude of people who attend the, the mock uh, session. They just they take it for levity. But I see it for me, somebody has worked so hard to put this thing together. So my is just 
answer the question. That's all I need. So I took every bit of it very, very serious. I plot the time. Once I see the time, I plug it on my phone. I block it on my phone. So one last time comes in my alarm rings and I get ready for the, for the mock session, except when I'm on a journey or I'm traveling. That's really when. In time management, um, I started looking at, oh, how many slots of time do we have to attend 180 questions? So I started working on it. For the first time I started, I overshoot the time by 30 minutes. The second time, I overshoot the time, 30 minutes. Then when I did the PMP mock, I mean, PMI, PMI mock you sent to me, I know here I have have to read the question and understand the question and I must meet up the time. In that case, I was a little bit 20 minutes late until you called my attention and said, Maxwell, I want you to take key notes of the time you spent answering questions. Uh, it now dawned to me that this, uh, when I enter the exam hall, I'm not going to have any 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Do you understand me? I have to make sure that each question I'm going to answer now, I should attend it within 60 minutes for each 60 question. Then I observe my break, Norma. And you want me, please take your break. Please take your break. Your break time will also help you in the time management. You will know if you are actually falling behind or you are ahead of time. So I started that, that I make sure that every 60 questions is done less than or an hour. Okay. So knowing fully where that exam, exam condition will be different. So if I'm spending 70 minutes for each 60 seconds, I'm still on the right track. It took yeah. 70 minutes yeah, for I'm still on the right 60 track. questions. So, uh, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. so I'm, I'm still on the track. So I, I now watched a video I think I asked someone, someone has sent me a video, which I've shared with some of the, the, the students in the year. So uh, it talks about time management. So after watching that video, and I came back, and I started plotting my time. I said, oh, break is, um, I have 10 minutes, 20 minutes for breaks. And you know, I asked you all these questions. So what I'm going to do now is, I draw something like a chart. I paste it somewhere. So for each question I'm going to answer, I have 60 minutes minus uh, 230 Great. minutes. Great. So I get what is left. You understand? So whatever that is left should help me manage my time in the exam if I'm ahead or behind. So for the last question I'm answering in the exam, I think I had about 70 minutes left. And I'm going to, yeah. You, you, have submitted, you have submitted your exam before 17 minutes. Yeah. No, 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 no. For the many 60 questions, the many 60 questions, I have 17 minutes left after the, after the second break. Only 17 minutes. One seven. One seven. Right? Yeah. No, sorry. 17 minutes. 70, seven 70 zero. minutes. Seven zero. Yeah. For the last that is one hour. A 60 questions. That, that is one hour, 10 minutes. Great, 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 great. Mm. So, right. and, I, and I knew I need to buckle up to meet up with time. So, but along the line, something happened. There's one question I came across that ordinarily I, when I look at the first question, I didn't know what that question was. I wasted time there, but I know it, it was simple. Okay. But I, I'm, I just bet myself, I need to get, I, just, I, just, I need to get this question. I need to get it. It was, it was about, um, stakeholder analysis, um, power and influence. It okay. is a spot question. They, yeah, they wanted me to click on this spot. Not they asked spot me that, question. okay. That is a, that is spot 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 questions on part yeah, of, question. yeah, on particular location on the given graph, you have to click. Exactly, the exactly, exactly, exactly. So okay. if a project is being impl implemented for a call center, mm -hmm. they now ask, what are their what are their power and interest? I should indicate it. And I say, ah, if it's a cost center project, they should have they they, they, they should have um um high influence and 
high interest. That is uh, okay. at that ranking time, you you need to you need to make sure that you monitor and you keep you monitor you you keep close watch. Closely monitor. Closely uh, monitor. Yeah. 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 Yes. So I choose that question. That question actually wasted my time because I know I knew it and I knew I'm going to leave the question. Okay. So I discovered that I was wrong. So the 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 neck of the time, the remaining five questions I have, then I think I have about um, about three or four minutes left. So what I did, I just I just got there. I read the 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 options. So when I look at the options. Let me tell you the truth. If you understand PMP and you know structures of questions, you can read the options and still answer the, 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 the you still, still get the right answer. Okay, so you somehow you fail to manage the time. Y yes, I fail to manage this time uh, because at that point I was getting tired. You, you did not get even but time something... to review the questions. No, no, no. I, no, I, don't, I don't leave any question for review. Yeah, you didn't get time. Maxwell, once you submitted, so once you submitted, what happened? <laughs> Your heart I, was... I, <laughs> Your I, heart I, was, I, no. How did you shake my heart your heart? Was, did you shake your heart? Yeah. What was the speed of your heart? Yeah. <laughs> my heart beat was. I, 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 and to be frank with you, <laughs> I am sure. I'm very, very optimistic. I'm going to pass this exam. All right, all right. So you are very confident yeah. that you are going to crack this exam this time. Yes, yeah, I'm going to ask the exam. Hey, kids. So by the time I submitted, there's one um, thing I always see on the screen that tells you, unfortunately, you understand me? So I didn't see that. So <laughs> seen, I didn't see that. You've seen so unfortunately. I know, uh, so I, I didn't see that. That's what, oh. what I used to see previously okay, for my previous all exams. Right, all right, all so right. that's what I used to see. Uh, so... Okay. And you know the, the the location at this time they are different. The congratulation is it, it comes down below the system. Wow! But it unfortunately, <laughs> comes above. The, the, the On top, top. So when I looked above the system, I didn't see anything. Yeah, okay. yes. So I didn't see anything. So and I looked. I looked down. I saw. Okay. And you see congratulations. So what was your reaction? Did you believe that you have passed the exam? You have passed. Yeah. Not just passing. Say, congratulations, you have passed ab all the three domains above targets. You are saying it was written on a screen. Congratulations, you have passed with all three domains. Yes. But yeah. generally, above. but generally, on the screen you can see only congratulations. They don't mention that you have passed with three domains. Yeah, yeah. I think what happened is this. I went for center. Mm -hmm. I, I, right from time, I don't want to gamble my risk. I don't want to gamble the risk. I always shift the risks. Each time I read a risk strategy, I say, no, this risk, I must shift it to someone else. You understand me? So that should be the center I'm shifting the risk to. You understand? So okay. I don't want to gamble so with lights. You can lights say, go off. So, so I think it's it's, uh, it's all about the exam in the center or online. So center exam, you are able to see conservation. You are passed in all three domains or whatever. Uh, your result will be, yes. will be written on the screen once you submit your exam. Yes. Right? What exactly yes, happened? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because, because the, the, what's the after congratulation, there is comma plenty there is other words that flows along it it's not just congratulation congratulations study congratulation comma you read through it down uh, all right Max. Mm. Uh, thank you for highlighting this i want to say to the people who is watching this video that despite of all challenges this man is here today sharing his journey despite of all challenges he has managed to crack PMP with all three domains that's really amazing success the way he described explained 
is one of the way. There are many way you can go through and you can crack your PMP exam. So read the success story. A mentor that's most important can guide you, can uplift you, handhold you until you crack your PMP exam. Because what I have started in the beginning that there are many more things required to get a success apart from your talent. And that is what means you should be having a plan, you should be having a strategy, you should be having tips, tricks, what you have to read, what you should not read, which topic is important, which topic you should emphasize more. This all things needed to get PMP certified. And PMP certifications you can get in just 30 days or 40 days if you have right strategy. Maxwell? Okay, thank you very much once again. Um, what I actually discovered recently and I learned recently uh, is that um, most questions on PMP borders around change management, stakeholders, communication. So those are the three aspects that revolves around PMP. So once you know these three aspects clearly, you can answer any other questions, be it um, procurement, be it cost, be it um, um, scope planning, because scope planning will come away. When they anything about scope, it ties with change. Do you understand me? Anything yeah. about uh, costing, it ties with change. So they ask so much questions about the change in all this. Do you understand me? Then also know the basic things you need to know about PMP. Do you understand me? So once you get all these things, I'm hands on. I'm telling you, answering questions is going to be very, 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 very like a tips of hand. Thank you so much for sharing these tips, and, uh, Maxwell. So people, he wanted to tell basically that you should more emphasize on communications, stakeholders, and resource chapters. Thank you so much for your time, Maxwell. And wish you more success ahead in your future endeavors. And uh, I'm always around anytime you can ping me for any help, for any assistance. If I can, it would be my pleasure. Can I say one more thing lastly before I leave? Yes. Um, uh, this, video, this, vi this video will not go uncovered without mentioning you as a person. You are the brain behind every success and God is using you so far to touch people's life. There's one thing I, I always keep to my mind. You are not interested in the money we are paying you. Those monies that peanuts. You are rather interested on in our sources. That's Father, today I called you the great mentor. Thank you so much. Please That's keep it all. God has used you. Touch, touch many lives as possible as you can. I, I know we're paying you nothing, but God will reward you immensely that you'll be surprised what God is doing in your life and in your family. So thank you very much. And God continue to bless you, continue to strengthen you, guide you in the right direction. Thank you so much, Maxwell. It really means a lot to me. And uh, I'm taking all your words with so much gratitude. And yes, I would be always around with the PMP community, project management community. And of course, money might be essential for livelihood, but it's not everything. I always target people. I always push people. Why did you join this mastery program? If you have joined this mastery program and not ready or not getting time, then just take your money and wait out. Go, go, you yeah. To, you have to continue your journey. There is not a single goal, single 
achievement in the world people achieve without any challenges everyone face challenges right everyone face challenges why you can't get the challenge and, and why you can't overcome from the challenges so that's all about managing your time it's all about managing the challenges and getting result for you on self thank you so much maxwell thank you so much there oh, yeah thank you very much sir and have a nice rest please thank you thank you all thank right you. bye bye thanks yeah yeah